It's taken five years for the concept of Inner Mountains Cancer Center of St. George to take shape in its own building. The new 120,000 square foot oncology building begins with DNA before you even walk through the doors. When we take DNA in our lab and actually do the chemistry that tells us the information we need, it comes out in little red and yellow and blue dots that then our computers decipher. So right there on the exterior portion of the wall is a symbol of our effort to provide the most cutting edge care that we can. And that means using genomics and using all the information that we can to come up with a precise treatment plan for that patient. Celebrating its soft grand opening, Intermountain President and CEO Dr. Mark Harrison said patient centeredness can be seen throughout the entire building. Uh, the flows, the decor, and you know, through the building there are touches that remind us about genetics and, and um, chromosomes and DNA. Ten years ago, cancer doctors only provided treatments using chemotherapy, radiation and surgery. And while those may still be effective today, there are now newer methods and technologies available. There are cases where those don't work and so we want to continually add to our armamentarium. So today, in this cancer center, we have the latest and most cutting edge technologies available. We have genomic therapies, targeted therapies, immunotherapies, all of these new treatment options that are becoming available for patients. We have virally driven treatments, we have uh, new stem cell targeted therapies, we have CAR T therapies. Th these represent the latest technological advances that are available for cancer patients today and it's available right here in this building in this community. On the second floor of the building, patients will come in and relax for a moment before being taken in for a treatment. They'll also be able to watch lab research through these glass walls. With the new patient-centered treatment, these doors will remain closed while nurses enter in from the other side. So they're not having to go to the lab and then go to the, you know, and they, they'll have to go to the infusion room, but they can have everything else done in that room without having to, um, them to move around. We're going to be the movers. Director of Cancer Center Services Jane Jensen gave the media a quick tour of whether genomics labs will sequence DNA. And it makes cancer more of a, uh, it's not so much a psych disease like a colon cancer or a breast cancer, but more of a, a disease that can be looked at by the genes. Down the hall, there's enough space for 32 patients to receive treatment at one time. Those patients receiving infusions can sit down and look out the windows, enjoying the view or even fresh air outside. There are also private rooms for those who may need it. With the hospital already being the area's largest employer, they are hoping this new environment will also recruit even more physicians to the area. The Cancer Center is just one of four buildings Intermountain recently expanded on the DRMC campus. We were bursting at the seams. We needed more rooms. Uh, we were anticipating uh, adding to our services. And then uh, this uh, beautiful building here, the uh, Cancer Genomic Center, was also thrown in the mix. The total cost of the budgeted expansion project is around $300 million. It's being touted as the largest construction project ever in Washington County. To date, the community has raised $14.2 million to go towards uh, these improvements and I think that speaks well for the community. I think it speaks well for the confidence that uh, Intermountain has in Dixie Regional Medical Center and for the uh, commitment of the community to support this and to support health care for Dixie. But the expansion and technology won't just be for Dixie. Oh, we expect to see thousands and thousands of patients a year and we expect people to not only come from right here but for some of the very specific therapies, we think they will come from a very long way away, including from overseas. While the hospital is already Washington County's largest employer, these additions are expected to increase growth in both patients and staff. The hospital will continue to seek out committed partners, scientists, and expertise in growing the venture into the future. We receive samples from all over the country and throughout the world for us to analyze using our DNA sequencers, so that's really exciting for us to be able to collaborate with investigators and doctors uh, everywhere. And we committed to growing the services along with the community and we think this is evidence today, further evidence of our seriousness about keeping that commitment. The target date to open the Cancer Center of St. George for patient care is mid-October. Melissa Anderson, Community Education News.